Today, we're going to walk you through connecting your very own custom domain to your MailerLite landing page or website. By the end of this video, you'll have a professional looking URL that's easy to remember and will help you build trust with your audience. Custom domains are available on our paid plans, but you can still follow along if you're in the free trial period. All right, start in your MailerLite dashboard and then navigate to the Sites tab and create a website or landing page in your MailerLite account. If you'd like to see an in-depth tutorial on how to create sites, you can find it in the description below. I'll choose our demo site here, and then you'll want to click Overview to get started. Here on the right, you can see the default URL that your site will have once you publish it. This is MailerLite's default domain, so anyone can publish a website no matter what your plan level is. Now, if you want to customize this, you're going to have to connect your domain. Scroll down to Settings and click Edit. You'll see the URL settings, and you can click Add Your Domain to connect your own. This brings you to the Domains page, where you can see all of your domain settings, both for sending domains and site domains. Remember, connecting a sending domain allows you to send campaigns from that domain, but this is completely separate from websites. If you want information on connecting a sending domain, check out the tutorial in the description below. We'll be focusing on the Sites section here. Click Add Domain and enter the custom domain that you want to connect. Keep in mind that you need to have a custom domain that has been purchased outside of MailerLite since we do not host domains. For more information on how to purchase a custom domain outside of MailerLite, check out our in-depth knowledge base article. If your domain already has a website connected to it, then it can only be connected to your MailerLite website if the traffic is redirected. Otherwise, any website that you had connected to this domain is going to be overwritten. Click Continue and then follow the steps to log in to your domain provider. Since this process is entirely automatic, you're not going to have to copy and paste any records. Simply follow the prompts on screen to connect your domain. Here, you can see the records that are being added. Click Authorize. If everything is successful, you'll be redirected back to MailerLite, and the status will most likely say Authentication in Progress because it can take up to 48 hours to fully connect from the domain provider's end. If for any reason your domain cannot be connected using the automatic method, you can still manually connect your domain by using the manual method. To do this, click Manage DNS to view the records that will need to be manually copied and pasted into the DNS panel of your domain's hosting provider. To do this, log into your DNS provider and locate the DNS settings. The location of this section will be different for each provider. And if you're not familiar on how to create new records in your domain's DNS profile, we recommend contacting your hosting provider for specific instructions. Once it's ready, the status will read Active and SSL Enabled. And that means that it's now ready to be added to the URL of your website. So, let's head back to the Sites tab, locate your site, and click Overview. Scroll back down to Edit Settings. And now, you'll see that by clicking the drop-down arrow on this domain portion of the URL, our custom domain is now available. Choose it, and add anything else to customize the domain name in the blank space next to it. Once you're done, scroll down and click Save and Continue. Now we can copy our new URL and we can see that the custom domain has been added. And that's it. You've successfully connected your custom domain to your MailerLite landing page or website. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more of the best tips in email marketing.